Hello everyone, this is your boy Yashvi Gaming. Well, if you're new to this channel, guys, I would like you to kill murder and smash that little subscribe button and also ring that bell notification because whenever I drop a brand new video, it's you who's gonna get notified. Alright, so in this video, guys, I'm gonna teach you how you're gonna fix these issues when you're trying to run Fortnite. Alright, so when I click, I go into my library and when I launch Fortnite right here. You're gonna see what will happen. I'm gonna get an error. As you can see, this easy anti cheat launcher. All right, file not found, which is in the C drive users. Uh, obviously, your name, app data, local, temp, and then easy anti cheat launcher settings.json. Okay, how do we fix this? Now, there's a couple of tricks. First, you're gonna look it in your local DC. Basically, Fortnite will be installed in your program files or maybe in the x86, okay? But as for me, I have installed Fortnite, the whole Fortnite game, okay, on my SSD, all right? So I'm gonna, yeah, as you can see, I have my as you can see the size if i do properties on it it's of 33 gigabytes okay so that's the whole game here all right i'm gonna open this i'm gonna open the fortnite folder i'm gonna open the fortnite game folder and then i'm gonna go to binaries and then to win 64 folder here yeah, as you can see i'll be getting an easy anti-cheat folder i'm gonna uh i'm gonna what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna right click here i'm gonna run as administrator and here um if you get this uh repair service you want to click on it okay as you can see install successfully all right now if you go back to uh epic games launcher and if you click on launch fortnite and if the problem still persists then i'm gonna show you another way okay as you can see the problem still exists all right it it is still here file not found all right settings the json and the fortnite game cannot be launched all right so how are we gonna fix this problem for good first what you're gonna do you're gonna run as admin one more time you're gonna click uninstall all right then what you need to do, you're gonna hit the search button here. You wanna type in reg edit. All right? <clears throat> here. Here you'll, you'll see registry editor. So you wanna run this as administrator because if you click open, nothing will happen. Okay? It will not get open. You need to run as administrator. Then, after you've run as administrator you're gonna see h key classes root current user local machine and users current config so i want you to go into the first folder which is h key underscore classes underscore root so you're gonna unlist this and here you're gonna click on any of the first folder and then on your keyboard on your keyboard you're gonna type in the letter e okay the letter e x e all right so this will bring to the exe file immediately then you wanna uh, bring this down you wanna go to shell folder you wanna uh, bring the shell folder down you wanna bring the open folder down you wanna see command okay so you wanna click on the command and see here what is happening okay as you can see the default you can see this problem c uh, c drive windows svc host.com and then this so you'll have to double click on the default and from here all you have to do is to remove this whole thing okay the svc host.com just delete that and hit ok all right so it must matches the first uh as you can see the the, the second uh, data it must matches the first and the second must must matches next you're gonna close this and you're gonna run easy and cheat one more time and now you are click install easy anti-cheat right as you can see install successfully 
You wanna hit finish, close this, and now you wanna launch your Epic Games launcher and you wanna open Fortnite. And now this should fix the problem for you guys. Watch. Alright, so I'm gonna go to my library and I'm gonna click on Fortnite. And now, uh, as you can see, guys, uh, the the problem should now be fixed. As you can see, Fortnite will launch. And if this video uh, has helped you fix the problem, do not forget to like the video, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment.